Hey, what's up my cruisers? Today I'm just going to be doing a little quick walk around video of the updates I've done to my rig. It's been like a more than a year now, you know, like a year and a half since I did an update. So people have been asking, you know, what I've been doing on it. So I'm just going to show you guys in this video. I'm done to it. Start off in the front. First things on the front is I still have the ERB bumper. If you've seen my last videos, I still got it. I just uh, I put this antenna thing on here just for like a measuring stick. I don't use CB radio or anything. I just use GRMRS. Uh, later on in the video, I'll be going in there. So uh, I got these little toe uh, toe mounts to get. I don't know if these are really strong, but I just have them on there for show. Uh, these night lights are still on there. That's how it looks like with everything on. All the lights on. Got the tech badge, took the ARB off because I'll probably make another video, but the ARB rear bumper is a <laughs> The install. Blacked out aftermarket headlights. So I painted this black a while back when I, my whole vehicle is black just to match. Because this was faded from the sun, from uh, Arizona sun. You know, it gets really hot over here. Got these vents because uh, it gets really hot in my truck. The engine's pretty stock, so I don't know if I'll show it to you. Maybe I will. I got these uh, hood risers from Solve Function. He makes a lot of things for the 80 series Land Cruiser. So if you got an 80 series, you want to check them out. There you go, Solve Function. A little shout out to him. I uh, got the, so it makes a little gap right here just so the air can flow out easier because this rig gets hot, I'm telling you. It's a cast iron, straight six, so it gets hot. Um, I got these from him too. I got these tech ones from Cruiser Gear Company. They're pretty cool. It just says tech on it because I'm trying to tech everything out. My knuckles are still leaking. i uh, just been topping them off. Got this uh, aftermarket adjustable pan hard bar. Old man Emu suspension. I got the two and a half heavy duty uh, suspension in the back. I mean, for the shocks and the struts right here. Uh, got the extended brake lines. That's what I did on the brake lines. New brake, brake master cylinder, a new uh, uh, brake booster. Rock sliders. These are all trail, all trail, all trails, I believe. Uh, painted them black. They came like raw steel. So I just wanted to paint it so it wouldn't rust easily. Got these, they're uh, American flag magnets. Then so you can take them off. They don't really stick well because I have the plastic dip on here, but you know, they don't really come off either. So they're pretty good. This one, I didn't, I just JB welded it. And I have this here just to secure it because on the trail it gets really bumpy. When I didn't, I didn't put rivets because you're supposed to put rivets right here, but I didn't do that, so. Mm, what else I got? See, so I got these ones here, the covers. Um, got these from Tech, uh, from uh, Soul Function as well. Now here's the ARB. Oh, start off on the top too. Delta, got the half rack. Put a shovel up here. Guess I need to shovel my way out. We got the uh, Roto Packs. Uh, this is a two, two gallon gas tank I believe this is a two gallon water tank got it uh, secured right here so I mean somebody could steal it I guess but they're gonna have to break that off so uh, got that after a spare tire right here in the back spare tire carrier got this thing on eBay uh, it's like a knockoff trash through I'll probably link it in the description it's pretty cool and I just put my logo on there make sure you hit the subscribe button guys you know if you want to see this channel make more videos make sure to subscribe follow me on instagram right there at the easy cruiser both of them got the tech badge in the back took the ARB off um this is a custom logo made by self function pretty cool i'll probably just open this up so you guys can see so back here i just have a little thing right here from prepping meals i probably just put this on just so it doesn't get my carpet dirty in the back and then I got this right here, a notch it right here with some red pen in case it moves, but it hasn't moved so far. And I have it with this elastic cord right here, this rubber cord, make sure it doesn't move. 
and it doesn't hit the back see i've been on trail that's just dirt and then um got the american flag right there got another tech badge um bh 3d printing makes these same one on the front so if you want to get one of those i'll link in the description as well and i just raised my tailgate got my sleeping bag i'll link that description it's an element got reflectics up there got my american flag got some tools up here uh, some toilet tissue biodegradable got a knife hatchet arb uh air down kit this is a little uh chair back here that falls down like that um just to get my spare tire down i don't even need that got uh some recovery tools right here this is all my camping stuff um got mosquito repellent mres if you know what mres are my boy works in the national guard so he hooked me up with some got ravioli what else i got in here pork sausage and i believe there's like biscuits in here oh chicken white chicken breast i got my cooking tools in here got a little pan cast iron so basically this is all my camping stuff spices in there touch that here's my cooler i did a review on this um this is pretty good it's like a backpack cooler this is what i used to sleep on so i inflate this up and i put it back here to sleep here's my cooler earth pack uh, I'll probably link it up here if you want to check that out link in the description as well This is my uh, for towing you put this on the on the winch line. So if it if it snaps it doesn't go flying Here's my little ninja bat um, It's worked pretty good. It's only 300 watt uh, 300 watts. Yeah, but It's not it's not a lot of power, but it's decent enough to charge your phone and stuff. It has a little light right here It's pretty cool then it tells you how much battery you got left. See, it says 28%. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's, it's coming pretty handy when I go camping. Because I just... Oh, this one's pretty hard to get out. Here's... I put all my tools in here. I have a van plier. A wrench. And I got all my oils in here. Fluids. I got, you know, 15W40 oil. Got coolant back there. Got my synthetic gear oil got you know power steering fluid transmission fluid brake fluid all kinds of stuff lucas oil stop leak in case i'm leaking all kinds of stuff in there so that's just all my maintenance stuff for a car for the truck of course i'm an asu fan so i got a little sparky right here when i go to sleep see him right there got my medic kit right here link down in the description as well got a fan back there Got all like medical supplies in here, like band-aids, gauze, all kinds of stuff. Got a fan, put a light on it. Link that in the description as well. Got some more pillows back there. Big toe strap that I got some more water back there, and then back there, back there, and that little tub which I don't want to take out is like some more emergency supplies. Oh yeah, I do have the BF Goodridge 34-inch tires. Uh, I believe there's 295, 75, 16. So the reason I got 34s is uh, I didn't want it to be too big because I parked this in my garage. So 35s, I feel like it'd probably be like this much room left. So that's what I got for the tires. All terrains, I mean, these are pretty good. They work pretty well on road and off road. They're not noisy or anything. So that's why I love. So inside, inside my truck, I got these. I just keep miscellaneous stuff in here. Like here, I got here, I got tools in here, screwdriver. Some wrenches. Uh, here's my winch stuff, my recovery gear, my gloves, and I believe the winch controller is in there. It's a remote. Uh, I got my toiletries right here. Um, got some more tissue in here, some other stuff. Probably want to zip that in case. So yeah, I just got some toiletries in there. Got my knife right here. Uh, usually I sleep back here, so I have this knife just in case anything happens. Never know. Uh, it's my Bluetooth speaker, sound core. It's pretty good. I mean, it's small, but it makes pretty pack, packs a pretty good punch. So here's my fan again. I'll demonstrate it. It turns on. That's a low setting. That's a little light. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Put this 
some more tools up there. There's my tertiary monkey from Philippines. Got uh, all kinds of patches up here. All the national parks I've been to. Saguaro, Joshua Tree, Arches, Grand Canyon, name a few. Got some ones over here. Just some other stuff. 300,000 miles, see? Toyota mileage. And I got sand in to never say die. Check your nuts. You guys want Toyota cars? Check. Got my Midland radio. That's what I used to communicate. Oh, yeah, I got these right here. Um, I just put stuff in here. See, like right here, I got some more um, wipes need wipes you know when you're on the road ain't no many bathrooms oh yeah down here i got i got my tripod you still want to take selfies put that right there and then these ones i'll link in the description as well these are just like organizer pocket thingies for the back and i got some zip ties right here so now we'll go to the front um speakers i got rockford fosgates all around got installed professionally um Got my drone right here. You should probably see flying right now. Um, got here, I got just like a little fanny pack when I'm hiking or something. Here's my air down, uh, air up kit. GSPCN, GSPC, PSCN. So I'll open it real quick so you guys can see. It's just like a portable tire inflator. So I pretty much use that and then I have and this thing, which I forgot to show you guys. Hold on. This is what I use. Connect all four and I, it's a Desert Armor, local company. So I connect all four and then I air up or air down. So it makes it faster when you're on the road. Uh, glove compartment, I just have like a light, you know, a little work light. I guess I need to work on some late at night. I can't see. Usually I have a water bottle right here. My wallet, some other stuff back there. Another camping light. Um, that's America's Beautiful Pass. I got some miscellaneous parts in here, fusible link. You guys have an 80, you know what a fusible link is, so I won't go into much detail about that. My AZ Cruiser hat. Um, got the American flag right here. Keep it close. Got my little ghetto altimeter and compass stuck up there. The Pioneer, this one's made by Self Function, it's like a leather steering wheel wrap. Right, this is my uh, solar panel by Rock Pals. Did a review on that too with my Ninja Bet, so I'll link that up there. You guys can see it, and I'll link in the description as well. And now for the inside, that driver's seat. There's the inside, guys. Got the double din right here, Pioneer. Rockford Fosgate speakers right there on all, all around. Midland radio. My altimeter, my compass. Uh, RAM mount for the phone. Link that in the description. Scan gauge 2 be in the description as well. And my switches right here. For my lights, my aftermarket lights. My patches up here. Make sure you follow the channel. Got this right here, just some visors. Sunroof works. It's kind of busted, but still does work. And this is a cell function light right there. See, turns red, then it turns white. So at nighttime, it's like a map reading light. Pretty cool. Um, I got the dash camera right there. Um, what else? I got cell function leather wrap pretty cool I mean makes it nice this has been my, my stock one is ripping um, here's a little like uh, sanitizer thing I got this from this is salt functions right here and then a little chapstick holder uh, I just have my wall I usually put my wall in here on off-roading and cell phone sometimes got some miscellaneous things right here my little camping light that's like a lantern so it's pretty cool uh, there goes that. And America the Beautiful Pass is my emergency uh, kit. This is like to smash the windows out right here in case you're in trouble. It has a little flashlight on it. 
has a seat belt cutter right there. Um, get a flashlight. Oh, it doesn't even work right now because I haven't charged it in a minute. But that's what that's for. Keep it down there. Have a little coin holder right there. I usually keep water right there. Uh, this switch works just to make it. If you're off roading, turns off the ABS and stuff. Center diff and then uh, the low and high gears work. Let's try it out right now. Yeah, there you go. Low. That's when you're off roading. Usually, I usually have it on that every time I go off roading, just so the gears uh, have more power. I feel like. And uh, yeah, camera, American flag right there. This is how it looks like from the uh, cockpit driver's seat. So yeah, pretty good good view. Oh yeah, also had the backup camera installed in here, so you guys can see right there. See the back. So yeah, it's pretty cool back here. And uh, that's just a little quick walk around on my video. Sorry if I babbled on. Try to put everything here. I, hopefully I, don't, I didn't forget anything, but if you got any more questions, you want to see more, probably make a review of the ARB bumper that I got in the back because a lot of people have been asking about that as well. Because uh, it's kind of hard to install, so I wouldn't recommend getting it unless you really want it. So uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, the Easy Cruiser out.